Hello everyone and welcome back to Brackets Academy. In this video I'll be showing you guys how you can create this CSS loading bubbles. And in front of us we can see the final product for today. And if you guys want to learn how to do this, let's get started. Alright, I have an empty Visual Studio Code project here. And first we need to create our file structure. So we're going to have two files here. One of them is going to be the index.html and the other one is style.css. So let's go ahead and create that. New file, index html and let's create the uh, style.css okay so now we're gonna start writing inside our index.html page and one trick you can do inside Visual Studio Code is you can have an exclamation mark and then hit enter and then it will automatically uh, start the index.html document so here we can say CSS bubble loading we're also going to import our style.css, so we're going to have a link here, link rel equals style sheet, type and text slash CSS, and we're going to have an href equal to style.css. Okay. So inside our body here, we can start creating uh, the wrapper for the bubbles and the actual bubbles uh, or circles, whatever you want to call them. So let's create our wrapper first. So diff id equals wrapper. And inside here, we're going to have another diff, which is going to be our loading container diff. So let's go ahead and create that one now. We're going to give it a class of loading container. And here we're going to create our circles or our, our bubbles. So let's go ahead and create some divs real fast. Div. And copy and paste that three times. So inside here we're going to have a class of bubble one and also another class of bubble. We're going to copy this and paste it underneath and one more time. So basically you might be asking why are we doing this? Why are we having bubble 1, bubble 2 here and bubble 3 here? So we're doing this because later on we, we are going to have some, some delay on the first and the second bubble. So it looks like it's popping in and out. Uh, and next let's add the uh, text. So another div. We're going to give it an ID text and we're going to have say here loading. Okay, so that's pretty much it for our index.html page. And another trick inside the Visual Studio Code I'm going to show you is uh, if you go ahead and press this go live here, it will, it will create a server and run your uh, index.html page. But that, this is a plugin, and uh, if we go to my plugin section, you can see it's called Live Server. And you can go ahead and install that. And if you do not have this uh, go live button here, you can press Command Shift P and start typing here live server and there we go open with live server so we're gonna open this with live server and we have our uh, website here obviously it's not styled now and we're gonna go ahead and uh, into our style.css file and we're gonna start uh, styling okay so let's start with styling the body first so for the body we're gonna give it a background color of hashtag 333333 and then we're going to have a opacity of 59. In our next line, we're going to grab our text and we're just going to give it a font weight of bold. We're going to make it look a bit better. Uh, in our next line, we're actually going to style our wrapper. So go ahead, go ahead and grab that component uh, or HTML element. And let's say text line center first. Next, in our next line, we're going to give it a margin of Z margin zero auto and since we're using this method of centering the wrapper because we want the wrapper element to be on the center of a screen we're gonna have to add a width here so width is going to be 200 pixels okay now next line we're gonna give it a background color and the color is gonna be hashtag 331 f1f and in the next line, we're going to give it a padding just to look a little, better, a little bit better. 
and color of white for the text. Okay, uh, next we're gonna style our bubbles. So we can grab our bubble, bubble class and start styling it. So for the width and height, we're gonna give it a width and height of, of 15 pixels. Uh, same goes for the height. And background color of yellow. And we're also gonna give it the border radius of 50% because we wanted to make it a circle and we're gonna display it inline block because we want the bubbles to be displayed one next to each other instead of one underneath the other and now we're gonna do the uh, animations so for the animations I'm just gonna use the the WebKit animations and the regular animations if you want uh, this to work on older browsers I'll, I'll write more in the article below so let's just do this WebKit animation in and call it in and out bubbles uh, it's gonna last for 1.20 seconds gonna be infinite and uh, is in and out same goes for the next line we're just gonna remove webkit and we're done so now let's create the uh, actual animations uh, in the key in the keyframes so go further down and we're gonna go at at keyframes the name of our animation and we're gonna go and say from zero to hundred from zero percent until hundred percent transform 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 scale will be zero and at around the twenty percent mark we are going to transform the divs and scale them by one so basically what we are doing here is we are going to scale the bubbles uh, instead of 15 they're going to be like 30 pixels in, in width uh, so now let's do the same for the webkit keyframes so we're just going to put here dash and then webkit keyframes in and out and here we're going to say we're going to say webkit transform and the same goes in the lower line. So that's pretty much it. We can save it and preview in our browser. But when we see now, we see that all of the, the three of the bubbles are just flashing at the same time. So we're gonna need to put a, a bit of delay in the first one and in the second one. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's why we actually uh, gave these classes here, bubble one and bubble two. So let's do this for bubble one we're gonna grab this and add a webkit animation delay webkit animation delay of minus 0 0.35 seconds and also underneath it we're gonna have the regular animation delay of the same minus 0 0.35 seconds and for bubble two for that class of bubble 2 we are going to have a delay of 0 0.20 seconds so 0 0.20 and 0 0.20 and let's save this and see how it's gonna look and there we have it thank you everybody for watching um, as always there will be a link down in the description of a written article about this if you prefer to read and uh, like share subscribe comment and I'll see you in the next one.